Welcome back, everyone. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. I guess I'm just going to go around talking to everybody right now. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like... Well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. So, Hadley, how are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're going to kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? We talked, but things have changed. We let it go. Oh, good, because I was not looking forward to your mood if that went bad. There's a reason I don't date crew, Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see her. Do you have strong feelings for her? 
Ashley's an incredible woman. I didn't like saying goodbye. I'm sorry. Parting ways with someone so close is never easy. I appreciate that, but I'll be okay. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. A solo mission, huh? Sounds rather risky. I went on the wrong floor. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters. But this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. 
He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nose Astra docking bay. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but... With all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but... He could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. 
One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Things as in tracking Sedotus down. people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I like Kasumi, she's cute. Shepard? Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Asari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> ah, never mind. Oh, you're so funny. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think, weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. heard the collectors hit the ferris fields colony everyone's gone shit we're going to make those dirty buggers pay you're the best commander we just got those fba couplings installed now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day we're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker want to join us come on kenneth the commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us actually that sounds interesting Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skellion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Hey. 
What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the Collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. And, of course, it only benefits Jack. I don't usually use Jack that much. I don't I don't like her that much. Let me know if you want me to make those implants. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know... This ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim I should go. Yep. Yep. This mission takes me back. Tough fight on horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on horizon. Jack, subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I tend to use the, the same squad members, a lot of members from the first game most of the time. I don't know. I should probably switch it out every now and then, but I'm accustomed to using Garrison Tally, but I don't have Tally yet. But that's it for now. I'm Cut the video. Until next time, take care and have a great day.